Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks or US tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 16, 2020. If you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. That helps us a lot. We are really pleased because we crossed a thousand subscribers. Actually, we increased uh, the subscriber number with 100% the last uh, three weeks and uh, we are really grateful for that and uh, that of course helps us also to build this channel make it bigger and we'll add new content and more content as this channel increases in subscriber numbers so i have added an additional indicator this is basically one of my favorite indicators that i use mainly for commodities but i found out it also works for most other um, stocks, indexes, uh, foreign exchange, and so on. And that is the CCI. It is very similar, or technically similar, is an oscillator, very similar to the RSI. However, I just uh, prefer the CCI because I think it's more accurate when it determines when a market is going to fall, when it's in an overbought situation, or increase when it's in an oversold situation. The RSI usually just look at the num number, whether or not it is higher than 70 in an overbought situation, or we are under 30, 30 in a, in an oversold situation. So we'll start out by looking at uh, Netflix. So Netflix has uh, rallied a little bit. You can see that most of these tech stocks are in the red, significant in the red, which was uh, expected in in uh, as I had said in yesterday's analysis, um, it didn't help today because we got uh, new bad news that uh, there is most likely not going to be any stimulus, which I also expected. It's nearly impossible to do that now. Only twenty uh, was twenty days, twenty days to an election, U.S. election. That is going to be really impossible as the uh, United States Senate as well as trying to uh, appoint a new uh, Supreme Court justice. Donald Trump is not in any, uh, well, technically mood in the, basically make a new you know, new negotiations and the Democrats will most likely not uh, give Donald Trump a win uh, before the election. Um, Furthermore, there's a lot of uncertainty uh, about what will happen after the election. How long will it drag out? And so on. And the markets don't like uncertainty. Um, subsequently, um, coronavirus numbers are increasing all around the world. And that is just not a um, good uh, thing for the US economy or the world economy. Um, so we may see this market drop significantly. I don't expect that's going to happen. I do expect this market to go back to previous lows uh, before going higher. So uh, if you look at Netflix, now it just it turned red. We rallied all the world all, uh, to these, this level here, which was previous uh, the previous highs at the, around $575. And then broke down. So we made a double top here. At this point, I do believe that we're going to turn around towards the 50 moving average. In in uh, and if that doesn't hold, then the 100 moving average at around 489 dollars that will almost definitely hold. So in this case, it is just a matter of time to wait till this market um, gets close to the. 100 moving average in order to basically buy. This uh, market has n is basically we have to go all the way back towards uh, March and April when we got oversold uh, significantly. Uh, but other than that, the 50 and the 100 have been significant uh, support for this uh, stock. If you look at the commodity index and also uh, or the CCI and the RSI, we are not oversold, overbought at this point, uh, but we were 
and the uh, CCI is also indicating that we were in an overbought situation and we are the momentum is basically to the downside now. So we're going to see something similar to this. Yeah. So we look at uh, Microsoft. We can see that Microsoft has also broken down today. We are down more than 1%. Um, at this point, we are most likely going first while going to the 100 moving average at 211. After that, we are going towards the 100 moving average at 200 and around 6. Technical indicators, we are, have been, you can see that the CCI, we were in an overbought uh, situation. This has turned around. We are going to get, uh, uh, basically get something similar to this, where we're going to in an oversold situation, and then we'll turn around again. Uh, that means that the uh, MACD will uh, will uh, cross the signal line here. We can see that the stochastic has crossed it, indicating bearish momentum. So everything is pointed pointed to uh, lower prices for uh, Microsoft stock. We can also see that the that the Bollinger Band we crossed the Bollinger Band, uh, the upper Bollinger Band uh, three trading session ago. And now we're heading towards this uh, 20 moving average and most likely we're going to the lower Bollinger Bands, which is the lows here. I don't expect us to go that low. I do expect us to find a little bit of support here at the 50 and then most likely uh, we'll go to the 100 moving average. And this will probably be the best buying positions uh, we'll get for Microsoft in the short term. Uh, break to the upside, which is not likely at this point, probably in uh, one or two weeks. That means that we are, have to clear this top at 224 before going to 233. So look at Apple, which is down 1.3% uh, today. We are most likely going to find resistance at the 50 moving average, which is 117 uh, if that breaks, then we are going to these lows at 104, and I don't expect that to happen. Not really. So we were over overbought. We can see that uh, CCI and the R and the RSI are both trending towards the downside. We are going to see something similar to this, where we get an uh, oversold situation, and then we are going to trade up again. Um, we probably could see something similar to this where we're just trading sideways, but there's just so much bad news at this moment. And 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 uh, this rally to the upside was pure speculation and also due to the fact that they released a new uh, iPhone. So, yeah, I would. my first bet would be that we will run into resistant support at the uh, 50 moving average. Uh, if this breaks, then of course we go lower. Technical, other technical indicators for the MACD, for example, we have not crossed the signal line yet. The stochastic is showing signs of uh, of downward pressure. It is about to cross the signal line now. And the Bollinger Band, we were way across the over top of the Bollinger Band, and that usually means that we'll break down towards first of uh, this 20 moving average and then towards the lower Bollinger Band. So the uh, the Amazon stock, we were significantly uh, overbought in this area here. We can just see both the stochastic and the uh, CCI uh, show us here that we were in significant um, overbought territory, and now we have turned around and we are going to go to lower price levels. Uh, first of all, 50 moving average will be our target. If that breaks, then we have the 100 moving average, which will be our second target. I don't see any upside in the very short term. Of course, this is going to go higher, but not at this point. Uh, both the MACD and the stochastic are showing signs of weakness, and we are. that is also a sign that we are going to go lower. Bollinger Band, we were way across the over top of the Bollinger Band. We are heading towards this moving average of the Bollinger Band, which is at the 20 moving average. And then if that breaks, we will go lower towards the lower of the Bollinger Bands. Yes, uh, so we look at Tesla. So Tesla has been really quiet for this stock. 
I haven't included it for a few days, um, but I have decided to include it now to just a pure popularity of this stock. So, well, what do you can say? It is basically um, trading along the 20 exponential moving average. It is um, very supportive when it comes to the 50 moving average. You can see here every single time we get close to the 50 moving average, uh, this just pops. But we're not going higher than this level. We have been here several times before, here, here, also nearly here, and also uh, yesterday we reached 461, and now we broke down again. Uh, if we break the 20 exponential moving average, we'll go to the 50, and that uh, most certainly will be uh, the, the basically as far as this stock will go. Uh, buyers will come in and push the stock higher. If you look at the technical indicators, uh, the we were overbought. We can see this area here, which is coinciding with this top here that was overbought. This is showing that we are going to lower price levels, uh, indicating we'll go towards the, the 20 exponential moving average first, and then the 50. Uh, MACD is flat. Stochastic is turning around, showing signs of, uh, of a downward momentum. And the Bollinger Band is also showing that we will most likely go towards the 20 exponential moving average, uh, 20 moving average first. Uh, and if that breaks, then we'll go towards the lower parts of the Bollinger Band. So we look at Facebook, which is getting hammered at this point. We're down 2.4%. Um, and that means that we are um, testing the 40 exponential moving average at the $265. We were uh, significantly overbought here. We can see the top of the RSI and the top of the uh, CCI, and that coincides with uh, with um, Tuesday's trading the trading price levels uh, where we hit around the two hundred and seventy nine dollars. So we are going lower. Uh, how much? How far? Well, I would bet that we would go all the way to the 100 moving average at 255. Um, probably won't happen straight away. Maybe tomorrow, but uh, Stochastic is turning around and the, MACD, uh, and the MACD is also turning around and the Bollinger Band are showing uh, signs that we are going to lower levels. We will run into this uh, uh, 20 moving average um, probably to day or tomorrow and if that breaks then we'll go lower so look at google google is the only stock here that has uh, is, is basically in the green um, i don't expect that to last we hit uh, we were significantly overbought in google stock uh, on uh, here here on tuesday and at this point i do believe that we are going just about, about time it's just a matter of time before we go lower uh, we are still overbought. We are 74 at the point at this point, but the CCI is indicating that we are trending downwards. We are technically going to test the 50 moving average first, and then most likely go all the way towards the 200 moving average at uh, 1,424 dollars. Both the MACD and the Stochastic are showing signs of weakness, and the Bollinger Band probably is the best indicator here, showing how far we got over the bull the top of the Bollinger Band, and that means that we are going significantly lower first to this level, 1,419. If that breaks, then to much lower levels. Well, I hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button. There will be a lot of volatility uh, the next coming days due to the election and so on. And that most likely will be uh, quite chaotic for most of these stocks. So uh, good luck and thank you very much.